Hi Aquarius, I'm Jennifer. I'm going to do your reading for you and we'll find out what messages spirits have for you, what you need to know. Spirits, what's happening with Aquarius? Sun, moon, and rising. What's happening with Aquarius? Okay, one more shuffle. Body, mind, and soul. Okay, keep in mind, uh, cross watchers, this energy that I'm reading can be reversed. What's happening with Aquarius spirits? Ooh. Okay, we have the Hierophant showing up, so you may be dealing with the Taurus. Hierophants, pretty powerful card, your very first card, Three of Wands, Five of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Five of Wands, The Lovers, Gemini Energy, King of Wands, why is the Hierophant here, Spirits? We have the Eight of Pentacles. Seven of Cups, the Ace of Wands, okay. I'm looking, I'm, I'm here looking at um, some type of a higher level of commitment with the Hierophant card and you working on your money, your pentacles, something in the material world and I'm seeing a new offer coming in, some type of exciting news. It's showing up in the material world. It's a brand new beginning for you, something very exciting. Could have something to do with the internet for some of you. But I'm seeing you here waiting waiting for something to show up something that's worth fighting for why is the three of wands here the hermit virgo energy six of wands and the king of pentacles You're on the right path. You're going in the right direction, Aquarius. We have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You're being spiritually guided here. Um, you could be opening up your own business here, and you're standing here waiting for waiting for something to show up. And it's very powerful energy. The King of Pentacles with this other with the other cards that I'm reading here. Something spiritual probably that has something to do with your money is going to be very successful. You have people um, watching you, cheering you on. You're crossing over the finish line. You're, you're like standing on higher ground, very powerful, very, very powerful, very wise you've been through a lot in the past you're showing up here as the hermit like you like you have a mission that you're moving towards a wish and um it's difficult it feels cold at times it feels like you're going alone but you're but you're going through it 
You're going through it with a lot of wisdom. Why is the Five of Swords here? I feel like there's even people here that you need to cut out of your life. Three of Cups. Because you're standing um, in a higher, higher plane. You could have dealt with um, either a Capricorn or a Sagittarius, but you're fighting for what you want now, and you're going with the flow, but you're you're like moving on a higher plane than what you were before. It's like your energy is very powerful here. The angel and a devil. And the Five of Swords, it's like you've conquered some type of war, I feel like. The wars from the past, like something from the past that you've conquered. And so I'm seeing, you could be dealing, I think I told you guys Capricorn and Sagittarius is here. But this is a devil and an angel, a conflict here. And you have, you're pushing the devil out of your life. This could be addictions. It could be people that no longer serve you. It could be a narcissist that you're taking out of your life. And you have like the spiritual energy around you protecting you. And I'm seeing you, you will be celebrating like a lot of celebrations, big celebrations. You're investing your time or your money. You're making investments here. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Yeah, it's like you, you're ascending to a higher level. Nine of Cups. High Priestess, Pisces Energy. You could have Pisces in your chart. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Leo. You're you're very, very strong, Aquarius. I see you here very, very strong. Taking care of you and what you need to take care of. This is all about you and investing in yourself and having a lot of strength. You've made it. Um, in, in the past, there's like tornadoes, there's a lot of mountains that you've climbed, that you've conquered, and now you know what you want to invest in with the Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> and I'm seeing here that you're very blessed with the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? The Nine of Swords. Page of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's like you're you're very blessed and you're giving to some type of pain from the past so that you can accomplish what you need to accomplish, what you're trying to do, being very logical. I see you here giving to the pain in the past because there's there's lessons that you've learned. And what you're doing here is very, very successful with the Ace of Swords. I'm also seeing new love coming into your life right there. Why is the Ace of Swords here? There's a genuine, sweet person coming into your life.
be dealing with a Libra. This new person coming into your life is um, someone who has fought the battles of the past too. They've learned the lessons of the past. And they're standing on equal ground eye to eye, to eye with you and as successful as you are because I feel like you're very successful. In this connection right here, this new connection showing up, I'm seeing equal give and take. You're both very giving and you both give. This is a new soul connection coming into your life. It's going to be a very strong connection. Why is the Two of Cups here? The Emperor. A very powerful... This person could be someone who is like a boss. It's someone very good with money. Someone who is um, not flaky at all. This person knows what they want. They're very stable. Very stable. Why is the Five of Wands here? We have Scorpio energy here with the death card. I feel like um, you're fighting an inner battle here within yourself. There's a conflict here that has to do with something that has ended, like the ending with the death card, something's ended and died. And you you do have your walls up, Aquarius, because of the pain that I'm seeing in the past when it comes to love. You do have your walls up. You're showing up as the wounded warrior. But you've been you've gone through a rebirth here. And I there's someone new coming into your energy. This person doesn't like to rush things, though. This person's very in control of their emotions. The lovers. Why are the lovers here? Yeah, I feel like you're about ready to meet the person of your dreams. see you walking away from the past and it's not easy you're you're walking away from um cups full of that you've invested in these cups you've invested love time energy effort into these cups and you are in your emotions here about walking away but i'm seeing you walking away and what you're walking towards you're walking away from the eight of cups into the ten of cups so this connection right here is your happily ever after connection. This is a love story that's like unfolding before my eyes right here as I'm reading it. King of Swords. That's you. You've made a decision to walk away. Walking away from what no longer serves you in the past. Very, very intelligent. You know, you know what you want and where you're going at this point in your life. And then we have the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? The Moon. The Three of Swords. And the Four of Wands. There's someone here that you've healed over, Aquarius. And 
this connection with this person, it brought a lot of growth into your energy with the Nine of Pentacles and it made you see yourself in a different light. You're, you've seen how powerful you really are or you will. It's showing up in the energy right now. And this could have been a marriage that you were in with a, with a person here showing up as the King of Wands. So this person's energy was kind of all over the place. You saw red flags around this person that you were in this connection with. And they caused you a lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak, left you in your emotions. And now this person is like going on some type of a karmic cycle. But it's like... It's like you're not, this This person does not hold you in, in your emotions anymore. Do you see how you're just coming out of the water? The water in tarot is your emotions. You're just coming out of the water. So you're, this person, you're letting it go. In other words, the pain that you felt being in your emotions with this person, with this connection. It's over. Why is the Three of Swords here? This person ghosted you or made you feel left out in the cold. And I do believe it, it could be the person from the past. It is a possibility. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn that... Um, it was a very painful ending to a connection in your life. And it's like the lessons have been learned here. But I do feel like this person, um, I feel like some time is going to pass, but you will get messages eventually from this person. I, I don't see it being anytime soon, though. I feel like this, this Knight of Pentacles is moving very slowly towards you but by then it's like you you've already moved on here by the time this person comes back you're going to be happy where you are what does Aquarius need to know I got my cards upside down let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. You may need help with something in your life right now. Because I feel like you could have a lot going on, Aquarius. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Chemistry. There's a, a strong magnetic attraction here. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. This could be the one you've already met, the, part, the romantic partner you seek. This person from your past, I see you letting go, walking away. And then the next energy that shows up is the person from the past trying to come back in again, which is after you let go here. It's like you completely let go. They feel you let go. But there's going to be three here because I see someone very significant coming into your life here. And the lovers is a choice. So there's a new energy coming into your life, Aquarius. Okay, spirits. Advice for Aquarius. Whoa. A fiery climax approaches. That's why we have the Ace of Wands up here. So there's going to be some type of good news coming in. Surrender to the divine and expect powerful change. 
have faith in your dreams. There's like a powerful message that I feel like is going to come in over the internet here that is showing up as really, really, really good news. And you're showing up here as the Hierophant. So it could be something that is in the spiritual realm that you're doing here. You're showing up here very powerful, Aquarius. Okay, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And let me just get one more message here for you. The person on your mind, what do they wish to tell you? The person on Aquarius's mind. What does this person wish to tell Aquarius? You're so easy to see through. And I wonder how I wondered how far this would go. I scared myself that day. I pretend you I pretend you don't mean that much. I am becoming a better person. Okay, Aquarius. Thank you so much, Aquarius. I love you guys and I will talk to you later. Namaste.